How to stop an insurgency? When we realize that there is nowhere else to go, we face the problem rather than running away. Most problems have solutions that we can't see when we're running in the other direction. In the reverse story, the entry of the yacht was fixed. The two men remained best friends, and they had a marvelous time on the red of the yacht together. As the people of our world come to lie evil close to each other, we have to find solutions to our problems. There's no flay to run away to. We simply cannot afford major conflict anymore. In the mid to late 1970s, I had personal experience of how a national government found such a solution to a major crisis. When that returns the very essence of their democracy, South Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia fell to the communists within a few days of its order in 1975. The domino theory, current at that time among the Western powers, reduced that Thailand would soon fall net. I was a young monk in North Thailand during that period. The monastery in which I mostly live was twice as close to Hanoi as this tour to Bangkok. We were told to register with our embassies and evacuation plans were repaired. Most Western governments were to be surprised that Thailand didn't fall. Ajanta was quite famous by then and many top Thailand generals and senior members of the national government would travel to his monastery for advice and infiltration. I has become fluent in Thai and Storm Lao and so gained an insider understanding of the seriousness of the situation. The military and the government were not as concerned with the red armies outside their borders as they were with the communist activists. And Sabbatistas within their our nation. Many brilliant Thailand's university students have fled to the jungles in North Thailand to support an internal Thai communist guerrilla force. The real police were surprised from beyond Thailand's borders as worse their Chinese, but the village in the pink but of the regions gladly supply their food and other requirements. They had local support. They were an ominous great. The Thai military and government found a solution in the three part strategy. 1. Retent. The military did not address the communist policy. Throw every soul leaders knew where they were. When I was living the life of the wandering monk in 1979, to 80, seeking out the mountains and jungles to meditate in solitude. 
I was run into the army patrols, and they would give me advice. They would point to one mountain and tell me not to go there. That's where where is communist world. Then they would point to another mountain and tell me that's where a good place to meditate. There were no communists there. I had to heed their advice. That year, the communists has caught some wandering monks meditating in the jungle and killed them. After torturing them, I was told. Second, forgiveness. Throughout this dangerous period, this was an unconditional amnesty in place. Whenever one of the communist insurgents wanted to abandon his cause, he could simply give up his weapon and return to his village or university. He would repeatedly experience surveillance, but no punishments were imposed. A retreat once finished, uh, in Khao Wang retreat, a few months after the communist had ambushed and killed a large chief for of Thai soldiers outside the village. The young men of the village were mostly subjected to the communist soldiers, but not actively fighting. They told me they were threatened and harassed, but allowed to go free. The third, solving the root problem. During these years, I saw new roads being built and old roads being placed in the regions. Villagers could now take their rodeos to town to sell. The king of Thailand's personally supervised and passed for the construction of many hundreds a small reservoirs with connect in retentions streams, allowing the both famous of the north earth to grow a second cross of price each year. Electricity reaches the mortars of harmless and squeeze its came a schoon and a glynis. The poorest Regions in Thailand were being cared for by the governments in Bangkok, and the villagers were becoming relatively robust. A Thai government saw dears on patrols in the jungle told me once, "We don't need to shoot the community; they are fellow Thais." When I miss them coming down from the mountains or go into the village for supplies, and we all know who they are, I just saw them my new red watch, or let them listen to a Thai song on my new radio. Then they give up pain and communicate. That's where his appearance, and that's of his fellow so dear. The Thai community began their insurgency so angry with their government that they was ready to give their young lives. But red trends on the part of the government how to prevent their entropy in mass wars, forgiveness, draw and amnesty, get them a safe and honorable way. Out. Solving the problems from development makes the poor villagers robust. The villagers saw no need to support the communists, 
anymore. This were content with their government they already had, and the communists themselves began to doubt what they were doing, living with such hardships in the jungle covered mountains. Once by one, they gave up their guns and returned to their family, the villas, or their university. By the early 1980s, there were hardly any insurgents left. So then, the generals of the Chango Army, the leaders of the communists, also gave themselves up. I remember seeing a featured article in the Bangkok Board of a shark. And chess banners who were talking titled into the jungle to visit the now abandoned cave from where the communists once returned their nation. What happened to the leaders of the insurgency? Could the same unconditional offer of amnesty be applied to them? Not white. There was not Spanish. Not Asians. Instead, they were our first important positions of responsibility in the Thai government service. In recognition of their leadership's quality, capacity for hard work, and concerns for their people, was a brilliant gesture. Why what the sorrows of the such courageous and commit young man? Is it a true story as I had it from the soldiers and villagers of North Thailand at the time? Is this worst I saw with my own eyes? Sadly. It has hardly been reported elsewhere. At the time of writing this book, two of the former communist leaders were serving their country as ministers in the Thai national government. <laughs>